Rick Rigsby was very involved with the Texas A&M football team in the mid-90s when I was a player there. Uh, about the time that I got drafted in the 96 draft, Rick uh, simultaneously lost his beloved wife, um, mother of his two sons at the time. And as I got into you know my first year in the NFL, which was a lot to digest and a big growing up experience for me, um, we kind of forged a special bond. I invited him, him and his two boys to come spend an entire weekend with me at the Vikings. And we, we, we really, you know, I was kind of at a place where big change in my life uh, as, a, as a brand new kid from Texas living in a big, you know, metropolitan area, starting and playing and, and fortunate to do well and, and just all the burden and pressure that comes with that. And he at the t same time had just lost his wife. So we really got close and he's just been a person that for me personally, and I can say for those of us that played it for Texas A&M football in the 90s, just a, a very positive influence. Um, I think he uses the word empowerment a lot and he was just a being around him has an infectious personality, very positive attitude, a very can-do attitude. He's a mountain climber, high achiever. Give him a task and he achieves it. And just as I always try to surround myself with people that have great positivity, even in the light of challenge and even in, in such a cataclysmic event as losing your, your you know, most loved person, your wife, he still was able to find positivity and find something in himself to give to me which is completely unselfish and something I've always tremendously respected.